Welcome back to the Garage Sale Hunters. We're here for Room to Room Trading the night before the Guzzle and Twirl with David Schroffnagel, my father, and my son McGrady. Hey David, what is the Guzzle and Twirl? Well, for about 30 years now, they've been putting on a large brewery collectible show. It's held at Aldridge Arena every year in Middle October. Middle of Minnesota? Yeah. How'd you know? I go there every year. Oh. It's been about 30 years since I've been going there. It's about two, 300 collectors get together. They bring all the wares in. Uh, I'm a collector of Wisconsin beer cans, uh, older ones, so I hone in on that when I get to You're the show. You already told us all this in your last episode you are in. Keep Lunch. going. That's all I got now, I guess. So who, who sponsored the Guns on Tour? Hi. Well, the North Star chapter of the Beer Brewery and a Collectibles Club of America. BCCA? Yeah, I always call it beer can collectors because that's what it used to be. When I joined, it was the BCCA Beer Can Collectors, and about five, ten years ago, they changed to the Brewery Collectibles Club of America. Be a little bit more inclusive, like the rest of the country is trying to be nowadays. So I'll show you our room, and then we'll go see other people's rooms. Yeah, so we got a lot go. of stuff set up to sell. So let's go check it out. All right, so it's room to room trading, like we said. Please. This is our room all set up. Got stuff everywhere. It's half mine, half our, my dad's. A lot of good stuff in here. Sold a bunch already. We were setting up. We sold lots of stuff. People everywhere looking at stuff. Here's some really old Budweiser signs. Pretty cool. Mike Maloney. Find everything in beer cans. Bob. I don't know. some cardboard there. That Schlitz cardboard there. There's three hundred ninety-five dollars. Yeah. Who's this guy? Not me. Bernie Stone. John F. Kennedy. I'm John F. Kennedy. Hi. Yeah, they're fishing. Just find somebody like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, this for a second. Yeah. Chicago, Andy, and say, come by the whole ship. Mm -hmm. Clean out and start over again. But, I mean, there's a lot of tra yeah, old style trading. You know, stuff that's kind of like a flea market. market. But, don't do it. Supporting the breweries. Yeah. And then when TV came or whatever, they didn't feel. Oh, there's a lot of nice cans in here. Check this out. I drove past. I knew nothing. Flat tops in the 1950s. And you behave. Falstaff. That's a good old beer. Talk to me for a week. From Nebraska. These are old cans here. A lot of them are rare. Let's look over here. If he gets hit and killed, or you get hit. Any cans are you on it? You want a can like this? This is a rare 1970s can. It's called a pull tab. This one here has been bottom open, probably by a collector. Some people have been collecting beer cans for 40, 50 years. She just comes up with ideas out of It's a nice Potosi cone top here. So now this one's Every called a crown tainer. And uh, the Potosi Wisconsin Brewery made about two or three different cans before they went out of business. This one here, this is a can dealer. And we're asking about $350 for this can. Let's talk to the owner here today and let's see if we can make a little deal. Oh. Yeah. We're trying to rip you off here. So it's a nice old can. Uh, they made a couple different versions of this one. This one's a little bit more common, but it is in good condition. It's got a little, uh, I'm not sure, that's not really rust over there. Probably like from a rub, maybe. A little from rub or something like that. This guy's been selling beer cans for quite a few years. Mm -hmm. I get a can from them every couple of years or so. The faces are real nice. That's a beautiful can right there. 
I see you're asking 350 for that. Will you do 300? Yes, I will. Let's do the deal. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. For a can? Uh, you from Potosi or? No. Wisconsin. Just Great. A Wisconsin thank you. Wisconsin collector. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 75 bucks. Do you know how old this Coke uh, clock is? Um, I think it's dated 48, 52, something like that. Historians think this text was written around 500 BC. Where do you live? So, Hayward, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, was that your uh, your store this summer? Oh, yeah. Where are your other pockets? Your other pocket? New Mexico, July 16th. Once we complete a cosmic cycle, it just begins. This bar back, blast sign from 1957 is made to look like the beer is actually fizzing. Uh, it sells for about 100 bucks, so this one priced at 375 is a little overpriced. There's a nice jewelry cooler down there. The beer was found in Manitoba, Canada in 1877, but was brewed for much of its time in South Bend, Indiana, and it was last produced in 1997. Uh -huh. I collect like tops. This is kind of a neat thing here. Yeah. Good, pick it up. I'm trying. There's a lot of hardware in there. Forty-five bucks. I never knew. It goes into a Schmidt sign that lights up. One of square ones. Yeah, it's always actually around. There's never a big bear malt liquor around when you need it. It is the superior malt liquor. Here's a couple nice lit up Schmidt signs from 1976. You got the, the buck and the antelope. These ones are selling for $75, which is about right where I've seen them sell for. Shasta has a long, great history in the soft drink world. They first started producing mineral water in 1889. They came out with their first flavored beverage in the 1920s, and they canned the first ever soft drinks in 1953. They were also the first soft drink company to come out with sugar-free and low-calorie soda. This can from the 1960s is priced at $30, and I've seen ones at much worse condition sell for that price. There's something that's in there. Oh, what is it, beer can? Cold This is uh, a bag, probably from the late 50s. They used to give these out if you bought a six pack at the store. The thing about uh, cardboard and paper nowadays, hard to find, rare stuff. This is a nice collectible. Wisconsin ones. Back home. <laughs> Back home. California. Eight hundred dollar beer can. In ABA. a box, so you can't get hand and fingerprint and skin acid on it. Oh, the good old days when you could use cartoon characters to sell cigarettes. It was the first night of the guzzle and twirl. We met at the Double Tree in East St. Paul. Tomorrow night's the big show over at Aldridge Arena. There's going to be 200 collectors, lots of brewery stuff. Forrest and I made some good sales tonight. It's going to be a great day tomorrow. Back it up. So don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. How's this work, man? You put it in the box. Yes, stupid. All right, guys. Make sure to click on that subscribe button. What are you doing? Have a good day. It's a pretty nice green belt can. They're pretty common. Common, you're common. Thank you.